I'm going to show you how to master the clutch and demonstrate how you can use clutch control in different situations. In slow moving stop start traffic, creeping out of junctions, controlling a car on a hill, and more. As you're a new driver, I'd recommend practicing somewhere quiet. You'll want to concentrate on your feet, so find a nice quiet road or an empty spacious car park like this, as you don't want to be bothered or distracted by other drivers. To be good at clutch control, you first need to know how to find the biting point. So I'll show you that first, and then we'll have a look at how to use clutch control to creep slowly. Let's get ready to go. Press the clutch all the way to the floor, select first gear. Press the gas pedal slightly to get the revs up to about one and a half, but you don't have to be precise, as long as the car makes a little more noise like this. This is ideal when moving off on a flat road to help the car not stall. Now slowly raise the clutch to find the biting point, also known as half clutch in some countries. The first part of raising the clutch doesn't do anything, and about halfway up you'll feel the biting point. Not in the clutch pedal, but the back of the car dips. The front raises a little, and the engine sound changes slightly. Once you've got the biting point, keep the clutch still. The car wants to go and the only thing holding it back is the parking brake. For practice, try pressing the clutch all the way down and finding the biting point again. It's in the same place every time. Practice getting the biting point quicker. This will help for situations like when you're at traffic lights, they turn green and you don't want to take ages to go. The biting point is in a slightly different place in every car, but it's similar. You can get different amounts of biting point, if you raise the clutch more, then it can overpower the parking brake and make the car move when you don't want it to. You've set the gas and got the biting point. Check all around and if it's safe to move off, then release the parking brake and keep your feet still for about three seconds once you're moving. Going faster than a walking speed, above about five miles per hour, gently release the clutch. If you release the clutch too soon, then it might stall. Or if you release the clutch quickly with gas, then you'll zoom off. Let's now have a look at how to drive really slowly using clutch control. And then I'll show you how to use clutch control in some real situations. I don't have the parking brake on, and I want to creep forward and turn right really slowly. To do this, release the foot brake, a little gas, biting point. Clutch down loses the biting point so the car slows down. Raise the clutch to the biting point to creep slowly. Dip the clutch a pound coin thickness to drive slower. Hold the clutch to maintain this speed. Then raise the clutch all the way with gas to drive faster than about five miles per hour. So between naught to roughly five miles per hour, you have to use clutch control. If you don't use clutch control, then the car will stall if you try and drive really slowly. I've stopped and I'm not using the parking brake. I'll release the foot brake, gas, and hold the biting point to move. Off gas and clutch down to slow down. Gas and hold the biting point to creep. Off gas, clutch down, and brake to go slower. Then gas and biting point to creep. And this is clutch control. Understandably, some new drivers are worried about wearing out their clutch. With use, some car components will wear out over time, eventually even a clutch. But holding the biting point for about three seconds as you creep is what it's designed to do. If you often hold the biting point for long periods of time, then you are going to wear out the clutch quicker. It is possible to creep forward and move off without any gas, but there's more chance of stalling especially when you want to move off quickly, or if you're on a hill. So whether you're driving a diesel or a petrol car, I'd always recommend pressing the gas first, then get the biting point. 
Bear in mind, pressing a gas a little as you creep slowly using clutch control helps the car not stall, but it won't affect the speed, as the clutch is in control. But releasing the clutch quickly, with lots of gas, will make the car move off fast. And of course, once you've released the clutch, then pressing the gas will make the car accelerate. When you press the clutch down, or raise it to the biting point, try to keep your heel off the floor. If you don't, there's a good chance your foot will gradually slip up the pedal and get stuck. You'll then have to do an awkward wiggle to get your foot back down. Although some people like to rest their heel on the floor once they've got the biting point for a bit more support. Not everyone likes doing this, so as usual, do what works best for you. And in case you didn't know, shoes with thin soles will help you feel the pedals better. It's time to leave this car park and show you some real situations where you'll have to use clutch control. Firstly, in traffic. I've got to be careful not to stop on the pedestrian crossing and make sure no one wants to cross or is crossing before I go. Up ahead I can see them starting to move, set the gas, biting point, release the parking brake, feet still for about three seconds, release the clutch gently with a little gas. The vehicles in front are starting to slow down. If I come off the gas, press down the clutch, this slight hill will slow the car down. Now gas, biting point to creep, gently release the clutch with a little more gas. Off gas, clutch down, brake gently. Now before stopping, gas, biting point to creep, then gently release the clutch. Off gas, clutch down, gently brake. Hill start, parking brake on, gas, biting point, parking brake down, feet steady. Then release the clutch gently with more gas. Clutch down and brake in to slow down. Now gas and biting point to start creeping forward. Hold on to the clutch for about 3 seconds and then gently release it. Parking brake is on and I've selected neutral so I don't have to press the pedals. A hill start in traffic. Easier said than done but keep calm and don't rush. Traffic lights have changed clutch, first gear, it's a hill start, so a bit more gas than earlier, biting point, parking brake down, feet steady, clutch up gently, off gas, clutch, brake, gas, bite to creep slowly, the gas really helps the car not stall. More gas, raising the clutch slowly. I'm waiting in traffic, so I've got the parking brake on and I've selected neutral. They're starting to move at the front, so clutch down, first gear. Gas. Biting point, release the parking brake, feet still for about three seconds, then clutch up gently with more gas. You might also use clutch control to creep out of a junction to get a better view. Before stopping completely, clutch, brake lightly, first gear, gas, biting point, clutch down a little to slow down, raise it slightly to move more, it's safe, more gas as I raise the clutch. A busy junction, if someone lets you out then try not to panic and rush as you might make the car stall. Also look left too, as you might speed off into the back of another car. Gas, biting point, feet still for about 3 seconds, then gently release the clutch. Another junction on a hill. As soon as I release the gas pedal, the hill acts as a brake and slows the car down. Clutch down, gas and biting point to creep. Little clutch movements to control the speed. Down slightly to slow down, up slightly to speed up. Clutch and brake to stop, parking brake on, gas.
gas, biting point, release the parking brake. Don't forget the gas helps the car not stall. It doesn't affect the speed, but the clutch does. Brake, clutch down, first gear. Gas, biting point, and creep carefully, ready to stop. Slight movements with the clutch. Clutch down to slow down. More gas and raise the clutch gently to accelerate. You'll also need to use clutch control when manoeuvring out of a tight space. Gas, biting point, check mirrors and the blind spot. Signal, release the parking brake. Now tiny movements with the clutch to control the speed and drive slow. Only raise the clutch completely once you've got the car straight. Don't forget, pressing a little gas when using clutch control won't affect the speed, but it will help the car not stall. Between 0 to roughly 5 miles per hour, the clutch is in control of the speed. You can see here how I'm pressing the gas, but it's not affecting the speed. But raising the clutch does make it go faster. And now pressing the gas does increase the speed. If you release the clutch quickly with lots of gas, then you would pull away fast or possibly lose control and will spin. If you want to know how to never stall the car again, then watch this video next. Thanks for watching. Please give it a like if it helped and subscribe for more driving tips. In the meantime, keep safe on the road and bye for now.